So we have a quorum, so I will go ahead and call them in to order at 5.05. Uh, are there any revisions to the agenda? Yes. Uh, I'd like to have a conversation about the subcommittees for the supervisory union and their meetings going forward. Okay. Uh, 3.4? Sure. Okay. Is it an action or is it a discussion? It's a discussion. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, 2.3. Two two point two point two point three. Sorry, yes, okay. thank you. Thank That's you. Okay. Without glasses. I know, I was very to clean things. Yeah. <laughs> Any other revisions <laughs> to the agenda? <clears throat> okay. Nope. Okay. Any public comments and correspondence? Any executive committee comments? Uh, is there a motion to approve the minutes of November 20th, 2018? So moved. No, second. Discussion? Those in favor of approving the minutes on November 20th, say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Okay. Uh, 2.1 is Act 46 update. I hope that's you, Bill. <laughs> the Act 46 update, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, I sent out a uh, new revised schedule based on the interim scheduling agreement. Um, I put it, released a video today as well. Um, so we're looking at a February 19th district organizational meeting. Um, I put together a recommended schedule from there on. I don't know if, you know, that'll depend on the transition board. Or New merge board if they stay with those dates. Um, the other thing that I would say is the articles committee, which some of you are on, has been drafting articles. Um, and those are being worked on. There's the next meeting next Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess three, three of us are on the articles committee. I mean, if anybody else wants to know any more about that, we can probably share, but we're still working, I guess, is the bottom line. Are there any questions about sort of the recommended schedule or where we're at on this stuff? No? Okay. Uh, communication regarding merged board positions. Um, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk that with you. Um, what I'll be I sent out the recommended schedule uh, yesterday or the day before. We'll be having a district organizational meeting on the 19th. One of the things that I wanted to talk, Matthew and I were talking about, was getting out information if at that district meeting folks uh, decide to have an Australian ballot for merge board positions, that we, with a tight timeline that we have from now until July 1st, the statute requires that petitions are turned in, as most of you know, six Mondays before the meeting. So if we were to look at it as quickly as we could have a district meet, a special district meeting to have elections, and they were Australian ballot, if they were floored, it doesn't matter. But for Australian ballot for petitions, you need to have six Mondays. So if we went right from the 19th and went six Mondays forward, it would be April 2nd, which would give five days for petitions to come in. If we go another week, so we give almost two weeks for petitions, then we're all the way to April 9th. What that starts to do is then the, um, the budget vote would be May 7th if we did it on April 2nd, or it would be May 14th for the first budget vote. And I'm looking at a second possible vote in June, which might put it all the way into the 21st or 22nd of June. So what I wanted to talk with all of you about, and Matthew, you and I were talking about, is letting people start to know so they can, you, you can collect. I've checked with Will Sending at the Secretary of State's office. You can collect um, signatures in anticipation of a board membership ahead of time. Um, and if we wanted to get that communication out. Question. So. Mm -hmm. I would have to collect 1% of 
Of callus? Of callus. Five pounds? Uh, no, of callus. 1% of callus. So it's 13, yeah, 13, 14 signatures. Who guessed this? Vera. I think Vera next. Um, yeah, so you have to have 1%. Dorothy, that's a good point. Um, the way that petitions would work, it'd be 1% of the town you're representing. Oh, when we put out information, yeah, I would, I would put all that out in information, but I want to I want to check with the executive committee here about putting that out early. With uh, the, you know, this is draft, but this is what, um, and trying to keep the timeline as tight as possible moving forward. Yeah. So basically, the question is, um, you know, is it okay for Bill to send out a communication just letting folks know in all five towns uh, that it's possible that. You know, there would be these new board positions, and if people want to run for them, you know, it would be better, I guess, uh, to if people think about starting to collect signatures on petitions earlier rather than at the last minute, you know, so because there is going to be um, a short window, whether we do it five days after or 12 days after, it's still going to be short, right? Um, so, trying to give as much lead time to people. Possible if they if they want to run to kind of get their stuff together and ready to. Mm -hmm. Well, so basically, what you're saying is, if somebody wants to run, they can <coughs> fill out the paperwork and they can collect the petitions, and then they have will have to have it in by five o'clock on a certain date. On the Monday, so they twenty fifth. They could start now, but it has you know if we go to the nineteenth, the next Monday. No, I was just saying, right, right, yeah. You got you got, got, so got I right. think it's I think just put it out now that you can start collecting and getting your papers together and goodness you have a lot of time to do it to have it there by what, April second? No, it's gotta be there by February twenty fifth. It would literally be five days after the district oh. organizational oh. meeting. Oh, so like a month from now. Or so. Right. Yeah. In order to have yeah. the vote on April second. <laughs> okay. In order to be Okay, got it. So it would be for February. Yeah, so we need to tell them. Yeah, I think it Because there would only be six days between, if it happened, the organizational yeah. meeting and the, the Monday after when we would prefer to warn election for new board mm -hmm. members, um, as well as possibly in articles if it comes mm -hmm. to that on the yeah. same day. Um, so that's kind of the. I think it's only It's another opportunity to, to explain what, what's going on. Yeah. You know, we have these boards and we have this theoretical board. And here's how it's but going people on. have been anticipating this for right. so long. The people who want to run, I think, by now know either they are or they aren't. Right. We've also communicated a set of things that didn't right. turn out yeah. to be accurate. So, <laughs> so are, there, clarify that. are there petition forms already you developed? Use, you, use the same, you use the same petition as your town. But aren't, aren't the, um, yeah, terms, the terms are staggered, though, right? Um, we have to publish what the terms are for the different positions. So in right, the, in the, in the petitions have to, to reflect that. And they have to reflect which petition. So we'd have to. I, think I could work with the town clerks to make sure that for each, you know, someone yeah. comes in. This is which one are they picking up for? Right. That's right. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Okay. So uh, that's a okay. really good point. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like we're good on that one. Uh, so the answer is, you're going to publicize it, and well, we'll, we'll do both. Yeah, we have to we have to pick which one we I think either April second or the twelfth, um, because that creates a, just a different time frame. Um, for when the election. For when, so well, for you, when the petition would be due. Make shooting for the earlier date. I'd like time. to shoot for the earlier date. So yeah, let's do that. Time just as possible. Okay, let's do that. And so April. To, that, that's what I published in the recommended schedule. Is what okay. I, yeah. is the earlier date. Just pulling it up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think theoretically the transition board is supposed to warn, warn that, right? Or like yes, they'll be the ones warning that, and they'll be the ones approving how this goes out to folks to be notified. Right. But I'm asking this group, for lack of any other group, yeah, to say, oh, how, yeah. I want to get it out soon. I mean, I want people to know what's going on. Well, I have at least three transition board members mm -hmm. are here, so. Mm -hmm. So the um, our meeting is when February. It's a fe district organizational meeting is February nineteenth. Okay, so then the, the petitions would be due February twenty fourth. Yeah, if that's the next Monday. I don't. Okay. Count. Well, you said five days. Have the schedule too. Yeah, so I have it. Yeah, so I, have, I have the schedule. Petitions uh, due. You had the twenty fifth. It's the Monday. Oh, 25th. It's the Monday after. 
Okay. She's the 25th. Sorry, this was like the latest one. Yeah, yeah. No, I just showed you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, 2.3, the CSU subcommittees. Yeah, so um, I've had a couple subcommittees, chairs, uh, ask me about meeting with subcommittees. Kari's talked to me about it for school quality, and Lindy's talked to me about it for policy, and asked, you know, especially when I turned out the schedule, another revision of the schedule, should we still meet for our subcommittees? And so I thought I would ask you tonight as the executive committee, mm -hmm what your opinion of that is. I mean, the SU board is the one that authorizes them. Um, but I just wanted to ask about that work. I know, like, for the sub policy subcommittee, Lindy said to me, she sees, she said, I saw on your schedule you have negotiations that night. I'm like, yep, I've got negotiations that night. So. Um, I went ahead and canceled you this canceled the yeah. school quality. I, I, I feel like it's important, but not urgent, not as urgent as the other things we have going on. I so. agree with you. Negotiations in the F46, that's a lot to ask of everybody involved in most of the central office. And I think as important as that work is, um, I think there's a lot of unknowns for some of that until we get through the other two pieces. I agree. I think putting them on hold for a little while is. So, do we have, want to put a time frame on what on hold means for how long? And then just say no meetings until. Just so it's not a bait and a vacuum. I, I, I don't have. A thought for you, Chris, on when the end date of that is. Mm -hmm. um, Can we just say, like, until July 1 and revisit it? Well, I think, yeah, I mean, it, with a merge board, board I've, I've said this in quite a few places, I think there's going to be some new standing committees and we'll okay. figure out what those are. I think yeah, this, is, this is something that we have to bring up at the SE board because the executive committee, it doesn't direct the other committees as such. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could say, like, yeah, we all get it, we're on board, you know, but it would be the SE board that was going to say something. To say something, right? um, but the, then again, the committees don't really need permission not to meet because right. <laughs> you've already done it. You the meeting. So I think what we're all just doing here is saying, like, yeah, we're all aware things are a little crazy right now, and, and uh, you know, the, it's up to the, it's fine if the committees are not like you know burning a candle at many ends and trying to move forward that is possibly important but not urgent. Can they even meet? I mean, are they, they're essentially members of the old boards, which are on committees, and are they, I mean, do they even really exist? Yeah, they an do that. Yeah. Yeah. All, all, board, all the boards I mean, exist until, until, until the no end of the No board campaign. has been dissolved. Right, so no board has been dissolved. they're oh. still in control. Until the end of the calendar year, or do we and have, and no, the calendar until, until June 30th? Well, I think that was for fiscal reason, yeah. the boards have no so kind can of authority, correct? Yeah. I mean, I yes, they do. So, so, so March twenty seventh is the next potential full board. No, let me step back a bit. Let me answer the first question that Rick asked, which is about where is the authority? The operational authority for FY nineteen, which is fiscal year right now, the local boards have until June thirtieth, mm -hmm. and there's an audit that comes afterwards, which they would be the entity to accept the audit of that fiscal year. And what is considered operational? But that's usually mechanical operational, right? That means that is, that is running this? of the school districts right now. Okay. According to the order that I have from the state, all FY20 waits for the transition board or merge board. Really, for the merge board. The transition board has no power to do anything Just for the, FY20. Point. So they're waiting for the merge board to be formed. Okay. For everything for FY20. And I assumed operational yeah. was more your functional operation. Of the That's and not policy, not, you know, that, that was all going essentially to a. And I know that the transition board had limits, but. That they really don't have much authority. The transition board really doesn't have much authority. It's the merge board that has the authority. That's why the mer transition board can't propose a budget. It's all done by the merge board. The merge board has the authority for FY20. Okay. I, mean, I think we're basically moving into a period where, you know, if the policy committee, the school quality committee, were to take a decision about, you know, it mostly be in the form of a recommendation at this point. Uh, you know, if the statewide plan plays out, you know, the way that uh, it's written, I guess. I, 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 I would probably disagree with that. If, if it's an operator, if they have the operator power and they decided to 
pass a policy and everyone voted for it. All I mean, all I mean is, yeah, I, I, agree mm -hmm. I agree with you. I agree with you. I agree with you for this for, for this for this year. year for this year. But all, all yeah. I mean to say is, if you're gonna if you're gonna put a policy in place, I don't know about what like that. You know, um, I mean, such and such is gonna happen for all kids yeah. or something. It was a question of how fast we can put a policy into yeah, practice anyway. You know right. what I mean? Just, like that's all. That's I think what we could do if the the next issue level meeting is the executive committee could just i'm trying to streamline the discussion that might occur at the larger meeting could be a recommendation of the executive committee <clears throat> that the currently existing subcommittees can meet at their discretion through a certain date so 30 june i don't care what the date is um and and then it's at the it's at that subcommittee's discretion. Yeah, I mean that makes sense to me. I don't know. I think, I think you put in a caveat that says unless injunction issues, because then operations as would just carry on. <clears throat> right. Well, I th I think that's what you're. What I'm trying to do is cover all bases. Yeah. And allow flexibility to subcommittees because there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. Just say, as as the SU board, we we don't have any expectations that subcommittees will continue to meet regularly. It's it's at their discretion, based on what's going on, and you know it could be revisited the next time we in March. Is that the next time we have a? There's a carousel in February the thirteenth. Thirteenth, yeah. And then there's a March. 27th carousel meeting. Is there an April one? No. And I'll just say again that it's not a it's not a change. <laughs> no, the subcommittee is already, already yeah. at their discretion. There's a change in the yeah, expectation. But, but yeah, it's just yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, I just and it's a communication the sense, the sense from the, the entire group that. to say to the subcommittees, look, there's a lot going on. We know people are involved with multiple things. If if a subcommittee doesn't have the time to meet that's fine we understand that with I, well there would have to be a caveat negotiations has to be a caveat negotiations has to meet other than negotiations and and I, I mean I'm just not seeing anything that's time sensitive for anything other than negotiations and I think for the full group to say to the subcommittees look we understand there's a lot going on if if you want to hold off on meeting your regular meeting schedule and reduce it or just put it on hold, that's okay. And just make it that simple, and then get consensus or a vote from the larger group to say, right, subcommittees, you know, if there's something huge and important, meet. But we understand there's a lot going on, and if you don't have the time, that's okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, action agenda. Um, we do it through the board orders. Or where they landed? Somebody uh, have they're all around them. There's two. There's yeah. two. Kari's, Kari's waiting to make a motion. So um, <coughs> I'll move to approve the board orders um, in the amounts of $184,921.71. And three hundred twenty-nine thousand two hundred sixty-nine dollars and twenty-seven cents. A second. Any discussion? Should those reflect a date? Is that how we normally do it? So the first dates were the first one was for October twenty-fifth through November twenty-ninth, and the second set was December first through December twenty-eighth. I think double second. Chris has second. Okay. Uh, the audit report. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there's um, Lori does. Lori and her team do an excellent job. Uh, the audit was sent to you via email. There were no 
findings or recommendations. If you have detailed yeah. questions, you can ask Lori. Good job, Lori. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Thanks to Nelson. Thank you. No problem. Thanks. Okay, we're going to move on to item 2. Let's have a motion. I I'll guess, make a motion to accept the auditor's report. Okay. Uh, is there any discussion or any questions people have for Bill or for Lori? So was this the first or second go around with this, with this second entity? Second year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did it, did it go better? Oh yes. The first year they have to collect every document that you ever gave to the other auditor. Right. So the second year you only give them what they asked for and what changed. Great. Yeah, for like yeah. pieces and stuff. Did it work better for you? Oh, much better this year. Yeah. <laughs> Less time. Good year to have it work better. <laughs> yeah. I need one thing. <laughs> okay. All those in favor of accepting the audit report, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? Thanks. Uh, approve leave for an East Montpelier special educator. Yes, yeah, so you'll see in here from Ashley Gilstead. Uh, she's expecting a child in April, which is great news for Ashley and Ted. They, uh, she will be out from April to August. Um, and so she's asking for FMLA leave for that time, which the board, the agreement, master agreement requires the board to take action. No, nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. I would recommend that we approve the FMLA leave for East Montpelier Special Educator. Yeah. Second. When you ask that out of the ordinary, she is married to another special educator that will be taking leave in September for six weeks. Ah, so. I see. Okay. Well, oh, for the same purpose? For the same okay. purpose. Right. There he is. He's, going to take it. He's going to take it in September. And she's going Although to take it will be easier yeah. purpose. <laughs> okay. Good for the kid. But we'll have that go to either we'll come back to you or go to the merch board. Okay. That's good. So uh, all in favor of approving the leave, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Extensions? Uh, reports to the board? Uh, you'll see a director's report in there. I did not, but I want to update you on two hirings. I think one you may have seen. Uh, Carla, you're going to have to tell me the last name. Messier. Too. Messier. I should remember these, but I just don't, even though they're working in the office. Carla Messier has been our AP uh, person, our accounts payable person, has had human resource uh, experience and applied, and we offered her the position of human resource coordinator after Sally left. So she's going to be starting on Monday. And Penny? Sandville. Sandville, thank you. I really feel bad about this. Um, Penny Sandville, who's, who came in to help us with uh, HRA and the um, and software conversions and all that, has had AP accounts payable experience. She did that for Washington County Mental Health for many years. So just today we offered her the position of accounts payable. So we kind of knew this talent was in the <coughs> office, but we did an open search and they became the best folks viable. So we'll be looking to fill the temporary position, which is a couple years temporary for the software piece. And it gives Penny more stability, which is great for her. She's turned out she's awesome. So is Carla, they're both. She said they want to work here the rest of their life. So. <laughs> Put it on the news. <laughs> so we're uh, just wanted to give you an update on that, and that's where we are with us. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, the director's report is in the packet. I assume <coughs> we'll have a chance to talk about that also at the Paris Hall meeting. Yes, sir. Um, the financial report. Oh. Sorry, this I this was in. This I was didn't know why these were here. These they were, were just, in email, but I think it was pronounced. emailed separately on Monday. Mm -hmm. just, just extra pronouns. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So um, we didn't have a November meeting here, uh, but I had updated the financials in November. I thought I should cover it tonight. Um, up on revenues, we updated the special ed reimbursements, the shared services for the HRA and benefits, and the transportation reimbursement. So we increased our revenue projections by 478000 the sum of the three of those. Hmm. Um, 
And when you go down to the expense side, the shared position is a wash. So we had projected that that shared position would be um, paid for 100% by other sources. Um, additionally, we had the VSBA dues. They serve as a pass through now through the supervisory union. So um, that's the 78,000. What the VSBA dues are seventy eight thousand dollars. Oh no no no! The seventy eight includes a full time position, okay. a fiscal position that we had appointed back in October um, to do the HRA work and the software work. Okay. So that's salary and benefits. The VSB dues are only about eight thousand. They're actually okay. less than they used to be, mm -hmm. so it's a reduction. Um, but we do that as an intercompany billing, so that's why okay. it's a revenue and an expense, and it doesn't impact our fund balance. Did I Thank go too you. fast? Um, we also updated our salary and benefit projections and um, at the time had a $3,241 savings. So all total, the expenses um, changed and um, I apologize, the special ed changed as you can tell, 317000 I missed that one up at the top there. So in total, the revenues were up 478000 the expenses are up 392000 So we actually had um, an increase to the fund balance over the prior month's reports. Um, as you remember, the board had approved carrying over fund balance from last year of about 97000 And so now we're only going to be needing to use 10755 It's primarily due to the transportation reimbursement that came through for the new buses. I mean, if you had to get to the point. Yeah, I was that's just kind right. of going through all the details in case you really wanted to know. Um, other than that, there's um, nothing else that's really updated at this time. Um, this past week I've spent going back through every school in Washington Central and so for the February meeting we will have a complete update for every school, for every line item, for salary benefits and um, special ed. So, okay. so this will change and should go in a more favorable light. So are we intentionally not being at 4% or is that just due to costs? Right. We just, yeah. Right. It was intentional because the bulk of our costs are reimbursable. So mm -hmm. if we were out of, for a special ed student, for instance, that you get 56% reimbursement. Mm -hmm. So there's really only a local um, shortfall of 44%. So we hadn't been maintaining the 4% for the whole budget because the bulk of it is special ed. Okay. And busing, which is a fixed contract. We made that decision even back when we were on fixed fees okay. and not even an assessment that we wouldn't mm -hmm. keep up to 4%. So does it make sense to even have the target amount anymore? Um, just, or is it just it for just historic a footnote, benefits? Um, because that's the footnote we had at every school report. Okay. I mean, if we have a lower target, we could put it in here. But I see, one of the things you'll probably hear recommended, uh, Laura and I have been talking about for the district meeting, is that instead of taking out a loan in anticipation for merge expenses, that we just use central office fund balance mm -hmm. to take care of those expenses. Because mm -hmm. you're gonna take a loan, you're gonna take a loan from your for yourself, and why go do that? You've got the money, the cash here to do it. Mm -hmm. Why go have an interest expense? Do you have any kind of that's gonna be? Most districts have used at least their 150 they got from the state when as their grant mm -hmm. to do the merging work, and right now the way we're using legal. We're using it up. So. Yeah, I was going to ask. There's a, a under expenses. There's legal services from September. Is, is that a actual incurred, or is that did we set that aside? Um, some of each. Some of each. Some of each. So, um, the board had asked for legal opinions. Um, that I think Paul Giuliani was hired at the time. Okay. Yeah. Did and you had set aside ten thousand. We've been. Laura and I have been, we've been kind of watching that versus the expenses for Chris Leopold. We're using other, a whole bunch of attorneys that aren't our usual, I mean, usually we use Pietro mm -hmm. Lynn and Heather Lynn mm -hmm. and Scott Cameron are our three attorneys and uh, Thomas Maloney for town issue, for town municipality issues. Uh, but because the Articles of Agreement Committee wanted to have Chris, which is, I, and I recommended Chris and Paul for some work. But that that's above and beyond this ten thousand. That's in that it's, was it, earmarked for that purpose. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 right. The board approved that back in September. Yeah. 
It's uh, close it's, now. Yeah, it's we're, we're, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to be <laughs> honest. It's almost done. Yeah, we, we got to be. A, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we're over it. So point. we will have a better update on the February. I think it's the 13th meeting. Yeah, that's right. when I'm my my goal. Unless I get the flu again, um, would be to do that that night. Don't do that. No, I don't want it again. <laughs> so, um, any other questions on the report? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks. So policy and school quality committees haven't met, I believe. So that brings us to negotiations. Yeah, and negotiations uh, met last in December. Uh, they have a meeting on the 28th, which they'll be starting time about health care. Mm -hmm. we have a prep meeting. I know you guys were bouncing back emails. Thursday, so the 24th, next Thursday. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not. I knew, yeah. I knew it was getting close. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just pulling back up that um, schedule. Yeah. Uh, we are essentially planning to have the carousel meeting on February 13th, which is whatever four weeks from today, I think. Mm -hmm. are, is, are we going to meet again to plan an agenda? Is there... What would you like to do? I guess that, the, that's, that was that's what that's, I'm asking. I'm, 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 I didn't <laughs> make a plan for you, so... I mean, uh, I don't know what is going to be on that agenda. We so usually in previous year, the previous year, last November, we did a a school minor report on uh, fiscal and financial and assets protection. Um, I'm going to be straight out. I don't have time to prep that. And, um, you know, we've given all the audits to everybody. Um, and I, the reason I had said in that, I said to all the chairs through email was to try to have it on the 13th because I'm hoping that the transition board will agree to meet the next night after the district meeting mm -hmm. because we've got to solidify some things right then. I mean, right, we need to do some work. And so I was trying not to have you know, the carousel at the same time. In that respect, is there a way of um, just getting information to the trend? Because the transition board members are not. Right, one. right. You know, just get it out to them sooner. I think that's a good idea. You know, just yeah. to, so Anything for that meeting out earlier, yeah. yeah. So uh, let, me, let me ask it this way. Uh, would the is the executive committee comfortable with Bill and I building out an agenda for the SU meeting on the thirteenth, or do we need to meet again to do that at some point? But I'm comfortable with that. I think, and I'm sure you guys would put it anything anyway. But just I, I think there needs to be an Act Forty Six portion that's providing the most currently available information, whatever that might be, Absolutely. and what information continues or is no longer available. Yeah. But it's a chance that everyone's there. So I think to share wh whatever the current information and status is would make sense. That would be the only thing I would specifically ask. That would be good to get some idea of guidance yeah. of where we're headed. You know, well, you know yeah, it could have, I think some things would be percolating in the legislature by then as well, yeah, not just for I don't think there'll be an argument to the court yet I by agree. the 13th. I don't think there will be. I don't I think. I mean, if I, was, I, look at, if I look at court proceedings, I haven't looked at this one, but usually it, it, it takes a long time to get things up and running. Well, well I, with I, the injunction, I, they because of the impact of it, um, they were trying to uh, get a um, mid-February uh, argument date. Um, yeah. But with the uh, potential recusal of Judge Teachout at the stage request, Mm -hmm. And probably be pushed back a week or two, I yeah. suspect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just I mean, you know, you know, it's 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 another judge. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it, wherever we're at, right? It, well, it'll really definitely be on the agenda. I think there would be some kind of revolt or outcry if it weren't. <laughs> um, but you know, I think as everybody's pointing out, it's probably going to be a point in time in an always shifting landscape. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's kind of a holding pattern now. Anyway, now it's mm -hmm. running its course. Just so. a, yeah, just whatever, whatever's there, whatever's whatever we, there, whatever we know, and on that, you know, on that day, this is what we know, this is what we don't know, and just continue to share, and it's just a tran, it's just an opportunity to share and be as transparent as possible under the given circumstances. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like our budget votes okay. in the past. Are there any future agenda? The be best information we've got available. Um, I would. Uh, this is probably my last executive committee meeting. 
um, not from any displeasure or concerns, but um, I'm getting Achilles tendon surgery on February 1st. Mm -hmm. So I'm in cast for like three months and it's my right foot, so I can't drive. Oh. So. Um, three months? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Several casts over three months. Um, so I'm trying to be mindful of not being too much of a burden on my wife. Um, and I need to continue to go to negotiations as much as I can. So um, I'm looking for areas to cut back. So um, floor is the alternate, and I'm yeah. unsure if there's meeting, she'll attend. Um, but I thank everyone and welcome the group. And it's very nice to just be a member. <laughs> If you need a hand with anything, come let me know. Okay. I'm glad we're coming. Yeah. Good luck with the surgery. Yeah. It'll be, good luck. Yeah. It'll be yeah. missed here. Yeah. So. I'd, rather be, I'd rather have one of these meetings every week. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's only about 20% of it left, so. Ah. Wow. Don't put the tent. Yeah, it's been torn three times since the wow. oh. end of September. Oh. Do they do anything with cadaver? He thinks he'll have to use a, some cadaver tendon with mine. He said he won't know till he gets in, but he thinks it's going to look like spaghetti. It's not clean. Well, I'm glad we got that on film. Yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> more than you need to go. Don't ask me any more questions until the meeting's over. They might want to take it out of my jaw. You know? <laughs> so I think we're all set. Um, thanks, everybody, for uh, Thank you. Meeting, and Thank we're you. adjourned at 541.